Hey everyone, this is Scott Gumbar, owner of Scott Gumbar, an inbound marketing agency located in Meriden, Connecticut, just 20 minutes outside of New Haven and Hartford. Uh, reason for this video today, we're going to talk about how to post to Instagram from Hootsuite, making it a little easier to manage your Instagram account from Hootsuite, and multiple accounts for that matter. Um, so you can sort of post to Instagram directly from Hootsuite, and I'll, you'll understand what I mean by that in a moment. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is, whoops, is add add your account to Hootsuite. To Hootsuite. So add social network. You have your dashboard set up. I'm assuming at this point. Add social network. Go to Instagram. Connect with Instagram. Uh, you must sign in allow Hootsuite to integrate. With okay. I don't know what happened there, but. Anyway, so you connect with Instagram, and I've already connected my account, so I'm not going to go any further, but you would obviously log in, and your account would then be connected. Once your account is connected, you can now add it to, to the uh, stream, whatever stream you want. You can see I have multiple streams set up here, different clients and projects and so forth. Um, and so here is my Instagram stream, my home stream, in my dashboard, in my uh in my dashboard for my my own business so I can like this image if I wanted to and now I have like lady bankruptcy's image of uh, not even sure what I just liked something grand opening uh, looks like cheers actually anyway I'll digress from that then so let's talk about how to post to Instagram from Hootsuite so before I tell you that before I explain it to you or show you um, you do have to have the Hootsuite Hootsuite app installed on your mobile device and it has to be either iOS or Android um, which is the majority of smartphones out there today. Uh, the app has to be installed and notifications have to be turned on or it just won't work. You also have to be logged in to the Instagram account on your phone. It will ask you first if you're logged into the correct account. So if you if you you know have a, a brain snafu for a moment and you forget to log into the correct account if you are managing more than one account not a big deal it will ask you anyway um, so what I've done is I was recording and then my five-year-old son interrupted me so I'll start over you grab an image I've already created an image for this purpose now what you'll if you're on Instagram you probably see a lot of images with uh, you know, quotes qu um, or motivational things or with a background image um, and that's that's perfect that's exactly what I would recommend if you have some type of business some of those are, are awesome to have on Instagram as well as some images from your business what you want to stay away from are sell 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 occasionally great not all the time don't do it so I've created this image on how to post to Instagram using Hootsuite um, and I'm going to upload it, and then I'll go back later and edit the link. Um, I am a Hootsuite certified partner, so I do teach Hootsuite, and I also sell Hootsuite for commission, obviously. Uh, I'm teaching in October. I'm teaching in Stanford on how to use Hootsuite. It's a, it's a great tool, 10 bucks a month for a whole account. You can't go wrong because, as you can see, you can manage quite a bit from here that I'd probably lose my mind if I tried to manage without Hootsuite. So anyway, I've uploaded the image. You could put in some text that, you know, if there's text underneath the, the uh, image, it can be up to 2,200 characters. You select your Instagram account, which now for some reason is not showing. So let me add it again. So you get to see it anyway. So you can see another way. Okay, so it says it's connected. I must just be overlooking it. Nope, there it is. Okay, so I selected the account. And um, let's just put a quick message in here. Well, hashtag it. There you go. Don't forget your hashtags.
So I'm going to remind everybody I, I am a Hootsuite certified partner. everybody what you can do it it's real quick what you can do from who sweet I mean there's a ton of stuff that you can do but I'm just gonna go over the basics so you can manage Facebook Twitter Google Plus uh, LinkedIn company pages um, obviously Instagram now and and much more from from the Hootsuite dashboard. All right, so you would then, you can, I would suggest auto scheduling because Hootsuite will schedule for the best time for it to upload, but for this purpose, I'm gonna just go ahead and post it. So to turn on scheduling, turn it on and off. If I turn on auto scheduling, it's gonna, as you can see, you auto schedule your message for optimal impact. If I turn it off, I can send now or I can manually schedule a time. So I'm just going to send it now. And what will happen is what you won't be able to see is on my phone, I'm going to get a notification from Hootsuite that from the Hootsuite app. Okay, so I'm going to click on the notification, click on the actual notification itself uh, open in, and then there's an option to open an Instagram so you'll see the image and what I've typed in I click on open on Instagram and it asks me if I'm logged into the right account now you can disable that however I'm leaving it on because again I manage multiple accounts so I plan to add the rest of the accounts to this at some point uh, so I'm gonna say yes I am it goes to Instagram and you just follow the normal Instagram posting options Okay, and then you get to the point where you write a caption and you'll be able to just paste in the caption that you already typed inside of Hootsuite. And obviously if you want to share it across other networks you can. I always share to Twitter. Um, and then add a location. I always suggest that you add a location. Even if you create a location, uh, I see that a lot where people create a location to, to uh, maybe give the post a little more... Um, What's the right word? Maybe a little more um, engagement options. So they might type in a website. They might type in uh, a quick quote. Um, I usually just select the business or wherever I am at that point. But sometimes I'll, I'll create a location. And then I post. And it's really that simple. Uh, so it's not 100% like where you do Twitter and Facebook from Hootsuite where you just set it up and forget about it. You do have, to, there is a little more interaction required with the use of your smartphone. Um, but it's better if you do want to schedule messages. And if you're, if you're like me and you're extremely busy and you know you need to get some messages out there and make, keep your account active, then you're going to want to schedule some messages out. Um, this is probably the best way to go. I've tried other uh, apps in uh websites and it, none of them seem to be stable at this point and I you know I might have missed one and if you've heard of one great let me know I'd love to check it out but so far it really seems as though Hoots, this Hootsuite version of Instagram is by far the most stable even though it's not the, the greatest uh, because you do still have to interact with your phone and if you forget to check the notification you get busy all of a sudden you know then then it becomes a problem so anyway this video will be uploaded to my youtube channel and my facebook page youtube it's youtube.com slash scott gumbar and facebook.com slash scott gumbar llc uh, so check it out there and I, I don't know maybe i'll put a quick 15 second video oh you can do video as well i forgot to mention that you can do video as well all right so until next time scottgumbar.com talk to you soon everybody